I'm going to use this video to open up your mind to all the different opportunities. I look up and the way this house is built, I can't go along the gutter because I, believe it or not, we will run a discharge line where you wouldn't even think. We'll take it up instead of down. There's so many tree roots in this yard and then this whole side of the lot is nothing but pavement. Notice the pipe on the top fence rail. That's the discharge line. Most driveways, the water runs down into the street. That's how we got the water out. We tested the pump and ran it. Worked great. We're just finishing up putting the electrical in. Our electrician's there. Nice, clean install. Think about that. No digging. Run it on a fence if you have that option. You can see how easy it is. A lot less digging for the homeowner. We're equipped to dig, and we'll dig first in most cases. But this side of the yard was all concrete. The other side of the yard, there were so many big tree roots. So now I'm behind the garage where we set our drop-in. That was the green lid. There's our high-octane run. We had a grass seed over it a little bit. We got the high octane going through all the low spots in the yard, got some blind inlets, and we're taking up all that yard water. Look at that. That tree, oh man, you could not get a discharge line out of this yard because of that tree. And again, all the concrete here in the driveway. Now, I'll run them down low on the bottom of the house. See that foundation on the house, the, the two blocks? But look at the man door. We call the service entrance a man door. The man doors on this, you know, was in the way. So this was my best option. We're in Sterling Heights, Michigan, installing a French drain system along with running a new sump line. Water used to stand in the backyard here where you see our channel for our French drain stone. And the sump line used to run to a dry well you can't do dry wells on a clay lot they just fill up like a bathtub and once they're full they overflow and then you end up with standing water there was an inch and a half a size inch and a half pipe running off this to that dry well and it was doing nothing that's why they had to rig the system so the water would at least dump. They're just basically recirculating water and it was collecting in the corner of the backyard. So we went to a four inch schedule 40 and we were running that right down to our channel for our French drain stone. Basically we tied the schedule 40 into its own perforated corrugated pipe and it's going to share the channel that our French drain is in. The dual pipes then go underneath the fence, underneath the walk and discharge in the ditch. How deep should a dry well be? How far off the house should a dry well be? How big in diameter should a dry well be. All these things factor into your soil percolation and the volume of water you're controlling. Here's the sump pump line. This discharged right into the yard and everything was just a mess. A couple of months ago when we were here and I evaluated this job for install, it was a real, real mess. Well, a lot of manufacturers will tell you it's okay to put a drywall 10 feet off the house. I'm gonna tell you from my professional opinion, that's a real bad idea. Especially if you have a basement and you got basement walls and if you don't have really, really good soil percolation, you're loading the soil with all the downspout water, with all your sump pump discharge water and you're saturating the subsoils and you're creating all this hydrostatic pressure that's pushing against the basement wall. It's just a really bad idea. In my opinion, you want it off the house, you want it as far off the house as realistically possible. I'm all the way to the back fence on this, and I have great soil percolation. I was just playing it cautious as we always do. We got lucky. 
sand. <laughs> Nothing's better than sand. It was like digging on the beaches of Lake Michigan. This sump pump runs all the time, runs every 20 minutes. There's no water in this drywall, none whatsoever. We have a 30 inch in diameter. This is a generic typical system for us. One piece, heavy construction material, bunch of half inch holes drilled. Doesn't matter if we're running downspouts, sump pump discharge lines, our French drains. We'll run them to a drywall like this. We want to always be five, six foot deep because and that way it doesn't freeze in the winter time. Here in the north, if you build a shallow drywall, it's just gonna freeze up on you. For drywalls, for sizing them, if you have poor soil percolation, then you need a bigger reservoir. You can just dig a hole in your yard, fill it up with water. If you can't fill it up with water, well great, you've got amazing soil percolation. You're not gonna need anything more than what you see here. Actually, this is probably a little overkill. Everything we do is we overbuild just to make sure that we cover the homeowner and ourselves. But if you're filling that hole up and it fills up and you don't see no percolation, you come back the next day and that hole's still holding water, a drywall's not going to work for you. You're going to have to take additional measures to evacuating that water from your yard. All right, so we're doing a shallow dig here in Michigan. We're in Rochester Hills, Michigan. So we got the first downspout right here, second downspout, short, short gutter runs, only first story gutters on those. Why that together? That comes into here. We got a sump pump. We got a sump pump line right there. We use the Boffman Gold. This is flexible, so when we have heave and thaw, it's not going to tear this pipe up. We got the virgin yellow material so that the animals don't chew on it. Seems like skunks, raccoons, possums, you name it, squirrels, they like chewing on that recycled pipe. So you can see how we got the parallel, the Boffman gold, the premium yellow, premium yellow. Now, we take them to a pop up, but I'll tell you what. That's that's not a big deal as far as I, guys say, hey, those are spring-loaded. Don't you need a certain amount of pressure? Yes, very little resistance for that to open. So I get a lot of comments, a lot of interesting comments. So we got two runs of the Boffman Gold. And you can see we grabbed one on the front, one in the back corner, and a couple around back, all on this side. That's how you do... A roof runoff system get the water all the way to the street get it down the curb you want it to run down what's known as the curb gutter and once the water is in the street the nearest the nearest storm drain for the street is four houses down this will just run during a rain and and during the wet season all the way down to that and and these spring-loaded lids they're spring-loaded so that the lawnmower, a good lawnmower with good vacuum is going to stand them right up and chop them off. The spring has very little resistance. So do know that. There's very little resistance with that spring. It doesn't take very much water to pop that up. Now, there's no stone and there's no fabric and there's no burrito wrap because this is not a French drain system. This is a roof runoff system and a discharge line for a sump pump an indoor sump pump not an outdoor indoor sump pump so we're using the boffman gold the premium yellow solid it's not perforated guys no holes it's solid all right until the next video